All right, guys. So fortunately, this is one of those cases and scenarios where I don't really have to talk too much. The uh, the video itself, or the video can speak for itself. Now, we have what we have here. If it wasn't clear, was a Nigen SI and a WRX versus a K28 or a or K24 base model equipped EP3. Now it is uh, a VTEC killer with TSX pistons. So we're talking like. And 10 5 compression for this uh, for this engine setup now TSX pistons are stock piston upgrade from the base model yes but not like not still still not as big as upgrade as you can get and uh, and the fact that it's performing that well when you can clearly see that the car could use a driver mod is pretty fucking impressive um, also you know for the you know talk of horsepower all the time you know what you know what makes power and everything and I still have people that ask me about k24 k20 combos and all that shit and as still, at the end of the day, a base model K24 will perform uh, very well on its own. And if you do just a little bit of extra modification, it'll smash. It just is, you know, it's, it's, it's equivalent with less money, right? So, K24 base model with a TSX cams, VTEC killer, uh, and TSX pistons, right? Super budget friendly, super basic build. The car made 230 horsepower. 229 wheel horsepower to be exact, but 230. And uh, I sold this guy Rocker Arms um, at around this time last year, and he was telling me what he was planning to do. He was asking me what the power estimations would be, and I think at the time I told him around 220. So I was nine horsepower off. So guys, if you think I'm blowing smoke up your ass about my power estimations, or if you think I'm blowing smoke up your ass about what this engine setup can do, um, it, it's not. It is. It, no, thankfully, me harping about this as much as I did. Over the past couple of years, uh, a lot more people are taking their chances on it. Um, again, I checked the you know checked the little, little algorithm check the other day, and I, at work on a computer that wasn't mine had nothing to do with YouTube search history. I searched for a couple of key things, and, and my videos are at the top or right next to being at the top for a lot of different uh, search categories right here. And I and I so I will firmly take claim for VTEC Killer's resurgence because uh, me talking about what we can do here with these different combinations of having more people test the waters and we're starting to get more concrete facts. We're talking about people from the Midwest, um, people from the South, and people in Hawaii now. now. All different areas, all different tuners, all different climates are coming together, putting these simple combos together and still getting badass fucking power numbers uh, on a regular basis. We're starting to see consistent 190 horsepower uh, from from K283s with just the VTEC killer or with just the VTEC cam upgrade, uh, we're still steady seeing 200 to 210 for for K24s with just that, and now we're starting to see what we're gonna what we're gonna find with that setup with just a little bit of a uh, uh, of a piston upgrade. So again, when I'm offering you guys uh, piston upgrades for these blocks, you know, for a basic block, and, you know, I'm offering like 11.5, 11.8, 12, 12.5, and stuff, you know, all in those categories right there, depending on you know, your different block that you're actually using and, and piston that you're looking for for a compression bump, right? But even on the on the lo lower compression side, we're still seeing, you know, like fucking great numbers. So again, you know, I'm, I'm putting together a VTEC killer for somebody who's going to pick up the long block. And so hopefully with him getting a long block for me, it won't take as much time to get it ready to go. And we can see uh, what a higher compression will do uh, with, you know, it is a K20. And I still expect it to make at least 230, but there's still that always a potential can make a little bit more, and I'm excited to see that. Um, so yeah, this this is just great shit, you know. Like I'm gonna be done with the S2000 very very soon. Uh, I'm debating on what I was gonna do for the next build, and whether it's gonna be Turbo K uh, or or NAK for VTEC Killer. But I think that for you guys that don't follow me on Instagram and that might be interested in something like to hear about this, uh, the plan is hopefully this year is to open up a spot for retail local sales. Uh, to start advertising locally and selling product locally uh, in South Florida, a place where I can post up engine blocks that are complete so that are not in my fucking house, post engine blocks that are complete, heads, uh, pistons, rods, bearings, everything engine related, and then hopefully it makes enough money where I can take my wife out of work and then get a, a bigger place with more, you know, more local access to um, run it full time. Uh, and once that once that happens, hopefully by the end of this year, then I can uh, once the profit starts to come in there, I can start thinking about the next uh, the next project car. I think for a while, uh, what I want to most likely do is um, you know keep the S two thousand wherever it lands in power and use that, and maybe do like a downpipe and tune for the Type R, and then uh, maybe next year we'll see about the next project depending on how much money comes in. If more money comes in faster than than I hope for, then we can start the next one. But regardless, uh, yeah, so. 
this is cool shit you know, and it's rare that i actually get race footage to show you guys but it's also great because it made 230 it's in a, it's in an ep3 um you know the guy could use some definitely use some seat time use some uh, some practice there um and you can see already what a base model can do so guys uh i know that the, the spartan you know my spartan k24 is like the most popular ask for um you know it's a piston rod it's a scat piston uh i mean nippin racing piston scat rod combo but you can definitely do the same numbers on a very better on a, on a much better budget or you can save several hundred dollars uh, just go with the base model rods, you know, get a K24 base model engine and keep the base model rods and just keep your uh, RPMs at 8,000 and you shouldn't really have a big problem there. Um, so you can use the, and it's like the little Spartan, which I think is pretty much, what, well, I'm pretty sure what I have it listed as, can make the same power. Like uh, it's not going to, it's not something that you want to try and push over 300 horsepower, but you can definitely rain in the mid to high 200s with that without any issue. Uh, even, you know, so it's if you're thinking about doing a project bill or, or a budget project and you're like hey i'm looking at a budget project so i'm thinking about vtech killer because it's going to be the best for my pockets because you know the head the base model head is not going to cost you so much as compared to a vtech head um then you might want to look at just you know not going with forged rods and looking at the stock uh the stock k24 a4 rods and you'll still be fine you'll still make the power both the base model engines I think the rods are they're healthy up to 300 horsepower. It's only when you cross 300, you know, 320, 330, 350, and you keep it at that power, and that's when you start to kind of got to worry about it exploding. And when it goes, usually fucking throwing a rod out the block. But as long as you're at that 300 and below, you should have no problems all day to run like that. Uh, I think even uh, James uh, over at um, Texas Honda Channel, he's got his uh, K swap truck, and it's a it's a K23. I'm pretty sure there's nothing done to the K23, but you know it's just got a turbo on it. And he's making right at 300 horsepower, and he uses it, you know, regularly. I see footage being posted of it on a, on a regular up on his uh, Instagram. All right, guys. So quite capable budget engine build. Hope you all appreciate this shit. And uh, peace. Thanks for watching. All right, all right, social media links are in the description down below. If you got any questions at all tech related, ask them in the comments down below. Even if it's not related to this topic, if you DM me asking me questions or ask me to ask me a question, I'm gonna fucking ignore you. Uh, yeah, the, the DMs guys are for business. You know, I'm trying to keep all that filtered out. I, if people want to ask me a bunch of shit all the time, everything that I'm asked is something I've already talked about. So just please ask in the comments. And even then, it's not a guarantee you're 100% going to get an answer. I guess it really just depends on what, you, what you're what you asking. But um, I do read everything. All right, guys. So peace.